bulk of whatever we're gonna find will stay there. And that's honestly what we can that's hope to recover I mean. anyway. That's what I mean. And let's give it a moment to rest, and then let's go underwater and, and look, look at it. Yeah. and see what we got. Oh, look at that curve. Big chunk this of bone. This is pretty nice, actually. This is what do you think nice. it is? It's mammoth, I think. Is it mammoth skull? Is it mammoth? No, it's... Scapula? Does it have I... any honeycombing to it? No. Tusk. Oh, whoa, tusk. Hold on, hold on. Oh, tusk. No, no, it just looked like it. Oh yeah, that's tusk. Yeah. Wait. That's tusk. That's tusk, guys. Yeah, that's tusk. It's just that's tusk. Hold tight. So you gotta hold, hold it. It's all deflated. April and I are on the South Peace River in Florida with two fossil divers, Rick and Henry, who've discovered a Colombian mammoth. How did we get here? Well, it all started like this. All right, we're here on the Peace River with Rick and Henry, and we're looking for a Colombian mammoth, perhaps, huh? That's, that's the prize. The rest of them, yeah. We're headed down river, so that should be easier than up, and we'll see what we find. Exciting. I'm seeing a lot of uh, I'm seeing a lot of potential moccasin uh, homes here. Yes. Yes. Just scared one away. Did you? Just up ahead where you can see them probing is where I originally just found the tiniest piece of bone and it, it could have been easy to miss. You really got to look at these things. Uh, but we're excited today because today's the first day we've brought probes and shovels out because we've sort of narrowed down right where this animal should be. And if we're lucky, then we'll hit tink, tink, tink right now and hit a bone. So we're using these, uh, April and I are using these probes to try and find if uh, anything's buried right here. Rick's digging out what I just hit. There was a couple of dink, 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 dink. You found either, so, a, either a log or a bone? Yeah, so we'll take a couple of shots at it. Oh. Yeah, it looks like wood to me. Looks like palm. But this is so soft, just like the bone, that if they're finding this, then yeah. let's, right. find, let's find bone. Sound. What are you doing? Just making some noise right around the trees, because there's a lot of gators here. We've seen them. We don't like to see them underwater. Nah. But we brought you, you uh, fossil hunters out here today. Actually decreases our chance of getting eaten. <laughs> Come on, get down there. <gasps> All right, Henry and I are gonna do a little diving. See if we can't find a couple bones. Oh, did you wanna hand me that big bag? The last time Rick and Henry dove this spot, a 12-foot gator watched them from the opposite shore. Regardless, we submerge in the dark water and hope for the best. It's always a good idea to bring lights along. Henry almost immediately finds a mako shark's tooth. Soon after that, he finds a chunk of mammoth tooth. How's the hair looking? Oh, it looks really horrible. Does it? Yeah. Henry and I were doing some diving right down this channel. And apparently, you know, because we didn't take Rick with us, we didn't find a lot. <laughs> Rick's like, where are all the horse teeth? Yeah. Um, anyway, Henry found most of the stuff. So go ahead, Henry, show him what you got there. Uh, I got a little chunk of mammoth tooth right there. You, you see a bit of enamel on the end of it. Pulls up a beautiful mako. A little mako right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at that. I don't know how he found that he's got all the, that mess. He's got the roots to it and all, yeah. A dive flag is a must. Even in a river, it warns passing airboats that divers are down. Rick joins us in our second dive, and it's always a challenge to film in dark water conditions. is littered with limestone deposits, covered in mud and silt. Henry probes through it all, looking for fossils. And though it's hard to see, the divers are successful in their search. All right, so Henry and I just did, um, I guess, our second dive. The first dive was with Don. We got a vertebra to something. Let's just dump the bags out. Let's see what we got. This is bone. I got this, which I think is really interesting. What you got there? Oh, look. Some sort of socket. Get another vertebra. Yeah. Here's a horse tooth. Yeah, I got a pretty nice. Pretty nice one. Hey, not bad. You got yeah. the. Yeah. 
pretty good chunk. It's got the uh, bone piece oh, sticking okay, out. This one broke in my bag. All right, so here, this is. These are always fun to find. I like these. That is a, a alligator or a crocodile dermal plate, and this would go just under the skin. This is a piece of a tusk, and we've recovered a lot of this so far. Bigger chunks too, so it's cool. just scattered down there. Uh, we'll enter your bone, and it's it's pretty broken up. And they usually curve around and stuff, but it's cool to find. Yep, that particular piece is called a bulla. A bulla, huh? Bulla, B-U-L-L-A, bulla. B -U -L -L -A, bulla. All right, here's the pile of stuff I found just right offshore. Various things. There's some bone fragment. There's a little bit, bit of tusk, turtle, other stuff. So I was just uh, sitting here, digging around with my hands and doing a little bit of fanning, and uh, this popped up. It's bone here. Let's see how fragile this, this is oh, bone. bone. It looks like almost like a tree. Oh, and actually, here we are. It's a big piece. Ooh. Let's see how it's. Let's see how it's. Bone, yeah. bone, and then yeah, you're right. That's a nice piece of wood, man. Don. Oh. Don's, Don's helping out. <laughs> he found some wood. Nice piece here's, of wood. Uh, here's some more. Actually, I think that. I hope we found our mammoth. Yeah. Okay, you that piece is coming. Uh... Did you feel that? How it's? Oh, it's all in there. Yeah, all up yeah, in here. Yeah, it might be. I still feel like. Yeah. Oh, look. Yeah, this still... is. It's coming out of this bank. We are excavating. A bone that we just felt by sticking our hands in this silt. Oh, look at that curve. Big chunk this of bone. This is pretty nice, actually. This is what really do we think nice. it is? It's mammoth, I think. Is it mammoth skull? Is it mammoth No, it's scapula? Does it have I... any honeycombing to it? No. This piece right here is not falling apart as much as the other stuff is, so that's... A little more robust. That's encouraging. This whole shoreline has been bringing up skull material and just big bone chunks that we can't identify. But it has some... Uh, some clay around it, honey. Show me that. Oh, that's bone. So you guys are noodling right now? Yeah. In an area that you've previously been looking at. Hey, look at that. Yep, look guys. Hey. Yeah. Tusk. Oh, whoa. Tusk. Hold on, hold on. Oh, tusk. No, no. It just looked like it. Oh yeah, that's tusk. Yeah. Wait. That's tusk. That's tusk, guys. Yeah, that's tusk. It's just that's tusk. tusk. Hold tight. So you gotta hold, hold it. It's all deflated. There's. I can't tell. Do you mind if I reach in there? Yeah, feel right. Under this tree right there. Just me and this tree hanging out. Snakes we see today? Uh, uh, three? Three snakes, three moccasins. <laughs> We're not talking about that. So, as we leave the mammoth site, we got a big pile of bones, don't we, there? Yeah, we did okay on some bones. Hey, there's bone inside this. There's bone inside your anchor? Yeah. <laughs>